The following presentation is intended for new glider pilots learning to fly the Schweitzer model SGS-233. Always use a checklist during your inspection. When performing a pre-flight inspection, do it the same way every time. Start at the cockpit and follow through the checklist. Avoid any distractions or interruptions. When opening the canopy, be very careful for the plastic is very fragile. Check to make sure the locking mechanism works well. Make sure the cable that holds the canopy in place holds it securely and the cable that attaches to the release hinges are there and that work, being careful not to release the canopy. Next, look at the console and whatever instruments you have. This glider only has an altimeter, airspeed indicator, and vertical speed indicator. Check the release mechanism to make sure that the release opens to release the tow rope. Pull it several times. Now let's take a look at the rudder pedals and the cable that goes back to the rudder. The bolts have castellated nuts on the end of them and there's a small hole in the end of the bolts where a cotter pin goes through. Make sure that you can see the cotter pin and that its ends are bent over. Also look at the cable that's going back to the rudder and make sure that it seems to be attached properly and it's not frayed and worn out. Near the top of each rudder, where the rudder cable attaches, there's a spring. Make sure it's there and attached properly to the rudder cable and to the front of the glider. Open the spoilers and make sure that the handle moves cleanly and all the way open. Work it back and forth several times. Leave them open so that you can inspect them as you walk around the glider. Next, let's take a look at the trim. Underneath the floor, the handle is connected via a mechanism to a spring to the stick. As you move the trim back, the stick should move back. As you move the trim forward, the stick should move forward. Now, let's manipulate the controls. Let's move the stick forward and back to manipulate the elevator, and to the left and right to manipulate the ailerons. We'll also want to move it to all corners almost in a circular or square motion so that we can move all of them at the same time. While you're doing it, look at the ailerons so that you can see them moving. Check that the elevator is moving up and down as it should and then pull on the rudder cables to see that the rudder moves left and right. Now let's check the front seat seat belts. Check that they're not excessively frayed or worn and that they're attached securely. Now let's move to the rear seat. You'll check that the door opens and closes properly, the plastic is intact, and that the door latches are secure. You'll check the stick and rudder movement like we did in the front seat. Check that the release mechanism works. And check that the seat belts are secured, just like in the front seat. The next step would be to remove the rear panel so that we can look into the back and check some of the mechanisms there. The 
This is where a flashlight and screwdriver will come in handy. As we look into the rear of the plane, we'll see where the main spar of the wing attaches to the frame of the glider. There's two large bolts going through with pins in the back holding them in. Checking to see that the pins are there. We'll also see the mechanism for the ailerons going horizontally left and right and to the right side the push rod for the spoilers going up and down. We're checking to see that all the pins are in and the safety pins are in. As we look to the rear we'll see the main bolts for the rear spar and the safety pins there and also the attachment for the shoulder straps. Now that we're finished inside the cockpit, let's make sure the canopy is closed and secured and we'll start working our way around the glider. First are the main struts that are holding the wings up. There's bolts and safety pins at both ends. Now let's look at the bottom spoiler. Make sure that all the hinges are in properly and that they're secured and that it moves slightly. Look at the wings to make sure there's no damage, no popped rivets or anything that you haven't seen there before. If there are wing tip tie downs we can loosen those to make it a little bit easier to move the wing.